The promised land that we now call Israel is important to the Israelites for two reasons. First, it's the land promised to them by God to their father Abraham. Remember that from a few weeks ago when we discussed it at the beginning of Lent. The second reason is because this is now where the temple resides in the land of Israel. The temple is extremely important to the Israelites because that is their major house of worship. Not just because it was a magnificent site with beautiful architecture, but it's the major house of worship because that is where the Ark of the Covenant was laid. In the heart of the temple was the Holy of Holies, which is where the Israelites believed God dwelled. Only the high priest was allowed to enter that Holy of Holies. Now, because the temple is where God dwelled, that was also the only place where the Israelites could offer sacrifices to God. Priests would be stationed to perform the sacrifices for families and individuals. Pharisees were there to make sure the laws were kept. And this is why even today, the city of Jerusalem is very important to our Jewish brothers and sisters. The Temple Mount, which is where the temple once stood, represents that place where God dwelled 2,000 years ago. Remember though, it's not just about the temple, it's also about the land on which the temple was built. That's the promised land. All Israelites were called to worship God on the holy mountain, Mount Zion, which is where you find the city of Jerusalem. Now, knowing all this information is important because when the Israelites were separated from the temple during the Babylonian exile, they felt as if they were completely separated from God. Now, as we read Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah is telling the exiled Israelites that it's not only them who are called to worship in the temple, but everyone is called to worship in the temple. This is a major theme with Isaiah because as a prophet, he is in tune with the mind of God and knows the end goal is for all people to come together and worship Almighty God. St. Paul gets it too when he writes that in Christ there is no Jew, Gentile, slave, free person, woman, or man, but all are one in Christ Jesus and all are called to worship. The Israelites kept the temple extremely exclusive. However, that's not God. God is extremely inclusive to all those who follow his command of loving God above all things and our neighbor as ourself. 